Hey everyone, so right here we're going to break down how to fix common setup issues on your iPhone 17. If your new phone's stuck on the setup screen or not transferring data, don't worry. I'm going to help you get through it step by step. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure your old iPhone's updated. You got to have both devices running the latest iOS version before you link up. That's going to save a lot of time ahead. Next, check your Wi-Fi. If the setup's hanging or taking forever, switch to a strong and stable connection. Sometimes that's all it takes. Wow, that sounds too simple, but it works. If your phone's still stuck, you can go ahead and restart both devices. To force restart iPhone, quickly press and release the volume up button. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. In last, press and hold the side button until the Apple logo shows up, then release it. That's gonna clear up temporary setup glitches right away. Now, if Quick Start isn't showing up, you'd probably have to bring the phones closer together. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. It's what helps the phones make out and connect. Oh, and if your Apple ID sign-in's taking a bit too long, just skip it for now. You can log in later once setup's done. It's cheap on time and keeps you moving. If your data transfer keeps failing, try using a cable instead of wireless. Sometimes wireless can drop out midway. A wired link-up is more adequate and faster for big backups. Okay, if you're getting a cannot activate iPhone message, check your SIM card. You may have to call on your carrier and ask them to refresh the activation. That usually brings in a quick fix. Another thing to look for, if Face ID setup isn't completing, make sure there's enough light around you. The sensors gotta have a bright and clear view of your face. Anyways, once everything's done, restart again to make sure the setup saved properly. You'd want to keep the phone plugged in during the first sync so no interruptions come after. Oh great, that's pretty much all it takes. You can go after these steps in order, and your iPhone 17 should start up smooth. If you have any other questions, drop them below. I'd be happy to help you make up for any missing step.